Where is like the prompt machine? Like we're supposed um. to be reading lines somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not that deep. Today, we're on today. We're on. Listen, we are literally in my kitchen. <laughs> Bring it down. <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome to our very lovey dovey episode of Kitchen Kitchen! Kitchen. Our dear friend. Mr. Nick Lewis. Oh, hi guys, how are you zolling? <laughs> so Nick, before we can start cooking or anything, mm -hmm. you know I'm gonna need a cocktail. Okay, So facts. what did you bring for us? I brought Cupid's Cup. So we're gonna start out with our gin. Ooh. Mm -hmm. We need two parts. We're gonna have two of these shots, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take the Saint Germain, okay. my favorite kind of guy. Just saying. Okay. We're gonna do the smaller one. This is not that. Like, oh my god, girl, we're having a mess over here, and like. It's all on you. <laughs> He's a messy queen. Mm -hmm. Shh, we can't tell them that. Okay. We're gonna put some lemon juice up in here. Okay. Lemon juice. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the simple syrup. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna mix it up, okay? Help. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Put a little bit of a strawberry in it. Ooh, this is a bit fun. Mm. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the model strawberry. Woo! And then we have our liquid luck. Looks so pretty, kind of, you know, like the yeah, red. Yeah, kind mm -hmm. of. Okay, that one's gonna have a little bit. But we're gonna <laughs> top it off with some sparkling wine. Mm -hmm. That can be Amelia's, okay? Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's why it's hers. Oh. Feel the love, guys. Cheers. Feel the yeah. love. Cheers. Excuse you. <laughs> Not bad though. Yeah, it's okay. really good. Next up, we have our vintage recipe, which is Old Betty Crocker recipe. It's cherry berries on a cloud. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're gonna be up in the clouds, guys. So, this is it's a meringue heart filled with cream cheese, supposed to have whipped cream in there, but I didn't get that. Marshmallows. And then topped with cherry pie filling and sliced cherries. Ooh. Yummy. That sounds so good. I'm mm. excited. Now here's the other thing though. <laughs> what? There's a lot of like, cook the meringue and then turn off the oven and leave it in the oven with the oven off for 12 hours. Uh, Top oh, with the, um, the cream oh, cheese nice. and marshmallow filling in and then put that all in the fridge for 12 to 24 hours. Oh, so, uh, we ain't gonna do that. <laughs> no, we got time for that. <laughs> no, we got no, time, time for that. So I already prepped the like filling with the cream cheese and the marshmallows and the sugar and the non-existent whipped cream. Mm -hmm. And so that's like chilling in the fridge right now. So hopefully that'll be fine. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna make the meringue, but because I am like vegan, mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. A, I vegan. use vegan cream cheese, and B, we're going to use aquafaba instead of eggs to make our meringue. Oh, that sounds like I'm in like the Middle East, aquafaba. <laughs> so aquafaba is just the liquid that comes in, um, like when you buy a can of chickpeas. Okay. So it's that liquid that they're stored in, and that okay. can be used for like vegan egg replacers for lots of things. Mm -hmm. Like meringues and mayo and apparently even whipped cream. So I guess I could have bought another can and done that. But like, oh my gosh, who needs that many chickpeas? Yeah. But we didn't get the real. And also, I bought it like coconut cream to make the whipped cream, and then it didn't work, and I didn't want to go to the store again. Mm -hmm. So sounds very difficult. My life is so hard. She, it's really hard, guys. But anyway, so we're hard. gonna clean up this mess <laughs> and then make a new one. Yay! Woo! Cute little mice. We've got the aquafaba liquid. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's like it's a nice weird and consistency. Gooey. But like, I guess it's a little bit egg like. Can I smell um, it? Yeah. It smells like chickpeas. Goblin piss. And then it's just sugar. Ooh. And that. 
Oh. And that's how we're making the meringue. Oh. So we're just gonna whisk or blend this until we get stiff white peaks. So blend away. Ever oh. whipping this, but like after putting so little in, and now we've got so much, we it's do. amazing wow. like how much that stuff grows. I know it was like we were a little scared it wasn't gonna get stiff enough, yeah. and there was like three of us trying. So, Ooh. this product, these results, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've just lined a cooking tray with some parchment paper, yes. and we're just gonna like dole this out in like a hard shape because Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Candy cane on Christmas. Gross. Okay. It like feels really weird on my finger. Does it? Nah. <laughs> I did like wide at the top and then narrow at the bottom to okay. make more like a rose shape. And the trick is actually to cut a little like, you're gonna wanna take your crepe paper and cut it like an inch to half an inch and then just like fringe one side. And then you'll glue that around a piece of the crafting wire. And that will help to make sure that your flowers are like open and not just like kind of closed like little bugs. And so that's like the inside of your flower. And then just you, the inside? That's <laughs> I thought that was like the whole flower too. No, you gotta have petals. I was like, oh, that was simple. I can make like seven. And I totally suggest just like cutting a length of the crepe paper and then just like folding it mm -hmm. a bunch of times and cutting a bunch of leaves out of, or petals out at once. Because otherwise you're gonna drive yourself insane trying to cut petals. So how do I make flowers? <laughs> you know how like when you're cutting out a paper heart you like fold the paper in half and mm -hmm. then... So I do that but instead of like you know turning it down to make a heart I just like bring it up on the ends so it's like a nice point. Mm. And then you've got a bunch of petals and you've also got a variety of sizes because they're smaller on the inside and then big on the outside because of all the folding. You got some petals. Now you have to make your own. <laughs> and then you take that and you like fold it onto the base of the like little inside of it of the flower that you just made. Push them on. Until you've got a big enough flower. Boom. Oh my god. Fat Nick. Stop. Like I'm in the game of Throw down. <laughs> um, if so you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> I literally Fire. told you guys that. <laughs> you just have to listen to me. I know it's really hard, but my voice is so annoying. <laughs>
Ooh, what is that on your hand? Girl! Someone was busy. <laughs> I worked really hard for this. <laughs> Why do you have so much glue on your hand? Yeah. I want to make it sticky. <laughs> I think I kind of want to make more flowers. <laughs> <laughs> My crown is going to be so... Oh, wait, that looks so You want sad. more flowers? Yes, I do, but... This okay. is like cute too. Like, I thought right? what I was doing was pretty cute. It's cute. Oh. Yeah, did you know that is cute? Sure. Yeah, I found like mashing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do I fold this again? Just like fold it over and over until it's like a small piece and then you cut it. Mad disrespectful. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how I was folding. No, no. That's why I what? asked you well, how do we do it. <laughs> Just like fold it in half over and over. Wow. Okay. I've only done three flowers. <laughs> we suck. <laughs> I know. So I only made four. You suck. I'm on my eighth, guys. I suck. <laughs> The meringue. The meringue. Okay, I am gonna let it sit in the oven just a little while since that's what the recipe said and we're still crafting. What to do this time? Nothing. So now that we are done with our fabulous new crafts. And we have scoffs and badge dolling. Feast your eyes. Mm. So now it's time to finish our uh, meringue heart. Ooh, the heart. So first we're gonna top it with this, which is the cream cheese, marshmallows, and sugar mixture. Ooh. I can eat some of that. Mm. Um, and then we're gonna put our cherries and strawberries. strawberries. <laughs> Okay, look at this deliciousness. Now you can't really see the heart anymore. It's a broken heart. But you broke it. So That's exactly what I did. Alright, let's give it a taste test. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kinda get a little bit of the stuff I like. Mm -hmm. Marshmallows. Ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Tastes like marshmallows. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And cream cheese and berries. Mm -hmm. I cannot find the meringue. It tastes like pink. <laughs> <laughs> I uh -oh. have questions for you guys. <gasps> I'm gonna win. About <laughs> whatever. Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. So what year were conversation hearts created? You know what those are? Those little kids. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We don't live under a rock. Oh, okay. <laughs> One. Mm -hmm. Or A. 1866. Two. 1792. Three. 1636. Four. 1542. A. Yeah, I'm going with A. Why? Because that's like the Industrial Revolution. <laughs> And you're both right, so I hate you. <laughs> Which U.S. state grows the most roses? One, uh -huh. Florida. Two, Washington. Three, D.C. Or state. No, just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Three, California. Four, Illinois. California. I'm just gonna go for Illinois. It was California. Damn. <laughs> Three countries that do not celebrate V Day. What's V Day? <laughs> Vagina. Vagina. <laughs> I'm gonna say Venezuela. Ooh. I don't know why I'm just going to. I feel like that has a I'm lot of say, love. I'm gonna say Russia. And I'm gonna say Germany. I don't know. Can I guess three? Mm -hmm. Okay. India. Thailand. Mm -hmm. It's um, Russia. 
I'm gonna stick with that to the end. Okay, both of you are wrong. Pakistan, Malaysia, oh. Saudi Arabia, Indonesia. I thought it though. And Iran. <laughs> Why do they call it Valentine's Day? I know. There was a guy named named Valentine. And he had a lover and he was gonna die in jail, so he sent a letter to his lover and it said from Valentine. And that's when they said Saint Valentine. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. It was about a lover. Okay, so they wait. No, I have one more. When was the first Valentine's Day? The year. I have options for you. Okay. okay. Go ahead. 493, 494, 496, and 497. I'm gonna do 493. And you? 496. Oh my god, yeah! Finally, you got one. I got I win! Boom, cheers to that bitches. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Yeah. Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day, whatever day. I'm gonna eat a man day. Day. Bye. Bye. Bye! Bye! Wait, all of that was recording? Oops. Yeah. Sorry, TV. <laughs> Sorry, TV! <laughs>